Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the I Hate Matt Wall Poetry and More podcast with your host, Matt Wall. We're going to be talking about some arguments about poetry, and I don't know which one to tackle. And I think last week I said, like, there were a couple things I wanted to talk about, and then I only talked about one. I can't remember what the other one was. I'm going to have to go back and figure that out. But um, there's a couple things I want to talk about now. So um, the things that I want to talk about. Last time, I went hard on the literati, okay? But what I want to say today about it is when people tell me that what I do isn't poetry okay there's only a certain type of person that says that hence the literati that we were talking about before when they say things like that i'm gonna come hard all over you okay i'm gonna come at you and um like i will fucking argue that until the fucking day you die okay so Let's just fucking be real about it. But what I will say is that traditional poetry, formalist poetry, metered rhyme and verse and all this shit. If you're into that, that's fine. I'm not telling you that that's not poetry. And some of you are like, well, you can't. Dude, I can make an argument up about fucking anything. Don't don't push me here. I'm fucking giving you one here. So just fucking take it with a smile. Like, I'm not going to fucking argue that that is not poetry. If you enjoy that, if you like that, fucking love that and hug it and squeeze it and call it all your own, that's fine. But if you come at me and say what I do is not, then we're going to have some fucking debates, and that's fine. The other thing that... um really boggles my mind about a lot of this shit is that I think that there is psychological reasons why some people enjoy formalist poetry compared to free verse poetry. And I think what a lot of it has to do with is one There are some people who are really into ASMR. There are some people who are really into um, games. Like they love crossword puzzles. They love word searches. They love Sudoku. They're the ones buying those big ass fucking stupid books at the fucking grocery store. You know, with all the fucking puzzles and shit in them. There are people who dig that. And there are people who, like I said, dig sound. And they're very auditory learners. Um, I'm going to assume that people who dig sound and who dig consonants and assonance and all this other shit, alliteration and rhyme and poetry, I'm going to assume that these people also like music. I'm going to assume that these people also listen to podcasts. I'm going to assume that these people might even be soothed by the sound of a vacuum, okay? And that's interesting. And I would really love if there was, like, a study done, like, on this shit. And then there's people who really dig meter and who dig, um, like, line length and how things look on a page and your... Um, quatrains and your couplets and your sonnets and all this other fucking shit. And I bet that those are the same people who really dig crossword puzzles, who really dig Sudoku, who really dig um, chess, for fuck's sake, okay? Who dig playing games, who dig trying to find little things out. Okay, And then I think there's people who probably have ADHD, people who um, don't really want to put up with a lot of shit, 
people who could smell bullshit a mile away, people who, you know, just naturally rebel as soon as someone says you have to fucking do something. And those people probably like free verse. It would be interesting to see what kind of music, like what genres of music people who like free verse are into compared to people who like um, the formal sound of poetry. That would be really fucking interesting to me. Um, it would also be interesting on a visual level, like people who like um, the form on a page, okay? Like what kind of movies and TV shows they like compared to what people who like free verse like. This is all really interesting shit to me. Like this could be a huge fucking study. And if anyone listening to this is in academia, academia, like I'm academia nut, academia, and you can do this kind of shit, like, I'm sure some, are you fucking with me right now, dude? Move your ass. Oh, this fucking wood chipper. This guy has been like the bane of my existence for like two weeks now. Okay. But like, if you are one who looks for grants and all this other shit, like, ask for money to fucking study this. Because on top of anything else, even if a university doesn't give this to you, go to fucking Penguin Random House and say, I would like to conduct a study that would help your market research shit so you could sell more books. Because if you could hone in, like, people who like the sound of a vacuum, like this type of poetry, that's a fucking market. You fucking hit that. People who fucking like crossword puzzles like this type of poetry. Hit that. And then you could put some dumbass fucking formalist poet on the cover of a fucking crossword puzzle book. You get in the checkout line. Like, there, there are so many fucking options to do with this kind of shit. And, like, for you, like, watching this or listening, what kind of poetry do you like? And then what kind of person are you? If you're, like, sitting here going... You know, I love crossword puzzles. Then look at some old formalist poetry and look at how it's set up on the page. And if that's something you're into, fucking do that thing. If you if you if you dig that shit. What are you? Like what are the things that you like? Do you like visual stimulation? Do you like audio stimulation? Like what are the things you're into? And then see if there's a poetry that fits that for you. I don't know if any of this is real. I don't know if any of this makes fucking sense. If it'll fucking hold water. But I think it's really fucking interesting. So that's that's one bit. Where are we at? Okay, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little harder here and talk about some more shit. Now what I want to talk about is something that fucking pisses me off to no end. When people try to say, like, you know, I don't understand why poetry isn't more popular, you know, because, like, poetry is music, and music's really popular. And, and that whole argument, the fact that an educated fucking person cannot grasp what the difference there is, is fucking insulting. As a fucking human being, that's insulting. Okay, here's why. You say poetry is music, okay? Music is music. Poetry is poetry. I can't say that Subaru out there is a salami. Some of you might say, that's stupid. Yeah, but I could get into that car and drive it somewhere to get my salami. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, that car can give me salami. Just like some people think poetry can give you music. Do you get where I'm going with this? They are, they are not the same thing. And some people might go, well, you know, you're being kind of a dick about this. But here's the thing. I have been in tons of bands. I've written tons of songs. I've been, like, I did the math the other day. And um, I'm trying to remember. I've, I've recorded, what, what is it? 
Let me let me see here. Let, let me get my notes out. Um, I've recorded 50 albums. <clears throat> 50. On every single one of those albums, I did writing. Like, I either wrote the lyrics, I wrote the music, I performed um, on the recording, the whole fucking thing. Okay? I've written tons of songs. And the songs I write are lyrical. Like, there is rhyme. There is meter. It's the whole fucking thing. Because that's a fucking song. You see what I'm saying? Like, I've written poetry. And the poetry I've written is fucking poetry. If I wanted to fucking write music, I would write fucking music. Because I'm a goddamn fucking renaissance man. Not because I fucking have to be, not because I want to be, but because I'm too fucking stupid to know that I should probably just stick with one fucking thing. I'm all over the fucking place. But because I'm all over the place, I know how to do all these fucking things. And as someone who has done all of these things, I'm telling you, they're all fucking different. They're not the fucking same. So, I don't know. And like when people are like, yeah, you know, like music is so fucking popular and just poetry isn't, I don't get it. I'm going to fucking blow your goddamn fucking minds right now as to why it's not fucking popular. Because there is not rampant pop music criticism. Criticism kills everything. And some of you are going, oh, now you've gone too far. You've gone too far. But hear me out. Literary criticism, criticism, especially poetic criticism is fucking a cancer, okay? You're basically, and like, I've heard people say this too, like, oh, whenever I talk to people and tell them I'm a poet, they're like, oh, no, I can't fucking get into poetry. Oh, that's too much. Like, oh, oh, you're smarter than I am. The reason why people say this shit is because of poetic criticism, because of academia, nuts. Because of all of this shit where people sit and go, hey, you know what? Let's talk about this poem. It's, you know, four lines. Let's uh, spend two hours dissecting this poem. Why the fuck would you have to fucking do that? This is what art is. You either like it or you don't like it. Criticism is fucking stupid because what criticism is, is you're telling someone why you like it or why you don't like it. And then the bad criticism, the most prevalent criticism in the world, it's not just that, but it's telling people why they should not like it or why they should like it. And a lot of this why we should like it is why there's so many really popular, horrible poets in the world. And when I say really popular, it means they sold like 5,000 books. Let's be fucking real, if they're lucky. But um, just the whole idea of criticism is fucking garbage like it shouldn't fucking take place it's the gatekeeping which makes it to to where the average person can't come into poetry because what people who do criticism really like to do is they like to be the smartest person in the room so if you're talking to somebody who is a critic the whole time you're having a conversation with them. You might just be talking to them, but they're going to be going, how am I going to win this debate? And you're like, I didn't know we were having a debate. I thought we were having a conversation. The critic, no, we're having a debate. Now, some critics say, I like to have an open mind. I've heard critics say that, but I've never actually seen a critic have a view on something, be really steadfast in their view, and then go, oh shit, you're right. I changed my mind. You're, you are correct. I've never seen that. I'm sure it's happened. I've never seen it. Have you seen it? I've never seen it. So criticism is the thing that keeps poetry from fucking blowing up. So all of this like wrestling around with, I just don't understand why poetry is not popular. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Like it, it's not fucking hard. This is not rocket science by any means. Like, if you only gave a peanut butter sandwich to five people in a room that was locked away from the rest of the apartment, and then in the rest of the apartment, you had 45 people 
and you're like, how come I'm not selling any more peanut butter sandwiches when the only people I've offered to sell peanut butter sandwiches to are the five people locked in the bathroom? And like, I just don't understand. I just don't get it. The, this room full of people won't eat my peanut butter sandwiches. Do you get it? Like, you haven't offered it to them. You haven't given it to them and said, here, enjoy this peanut butter fucking sandwich. Poetry is the peanut butter fucking sandwich. The fuckers locked in the bathroom are the critics and the fucking literati trying to figure out why not more people like peanut butter sandwiches. The tons of people in the fucking rest of the apartment, they're people who are fucking hungry and would love something good to read if you fucking gave it to them and told them that it was okay for them to read it. Jesus fucking Christ, this is so stupid. <sighs> I don't know. So, that is that beef. I think that's it. I'm pissed off now. So this is going to be the end of the fucking episode. If you have any questions about anything I'm fucking talking about, you could write me your hate mail and shit to IHateMattWall at gmail.com. Um, in the subject line, put something about the fucking podcast or the episode so I know what the fuck it is or else I won't read it. Los Angeles, uh, my chat book is out now. And I guess I'll talk about it here real quick. Um, next month, I'm coming out with two um, ebook releases. One is the fourth book in my Zombie Zero series, which is um, the fourth book is called The Alpha Hunter. And the other books in the series are The Brain Hunter, The Zombie Hunter, and The Hunted Hunter. Um, and this is a prequel. So um, you've got to read the other three books before you read this one. So that will be coming out in the beginning of October. And then at the end of October, I have Black Market Blood Drive, which is like a vampire mafia drug cartel kind of book. Um, so if you're into any of that shit, like if you're into Vampire the Masquerade or were into it, you might dig this book. Um, but yes, yeah, because it's October, spooky shit, whatever. And then I'm, I also have um, a chat book because I know the chat book readers and the ebook readers aren't really the same people all the time. So, um, but I am putting out a book of short stories next month called um, Preview of a Dangerous Mind because um, I guess early next year, um, Tales of a Dangerous Mind is going to come out, which is a short story collection of mine. So anyway, um, that's a bunch of news and tidbits. Um, yeah, keep buying my books, type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.